Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, today I'm going to be going into the state of Halo Infinite. Very, very good game. Um, and I want to put this into perspective a little bit. Um, so... We look at 343 Industries right here, right? We're looking at 343 Industries. 343 Industries, when they first started, put out the Combat Evolved remaster. It it, it wasn't really... It, it was well-received, but it wasn't really that good in terms of the art style. They were essentially flipping assets from Halo Reach and then putting them into the Halo Combat Evolved campaign. But it was still a good game. I mean, it's Halo Combat Evolved. It's, it's as pure as you can get for a Halo experience. But we're going to then transfer to Halo 4, to where... The they put in sprint, they put in the loadouts, they put in custom guns, or just guns that you would spawn with. You can spawn with a plasma pistol, you can spawn with uh, uh, plasma grenades. Not in exactly, I mean, they were chasing Call of Duty, is what they were doing at the end of the day. Um, Halo 4, while it had decent content there at launch, which it, its core gameplay was all about chasing Call of Duty. That's not, I mean, that's, that's just is what it is. Like, it, it's, it, there's a reason why not, why not a lot of people stuck around. It just wasn't a fun, like, it was just very derivative. It was dumb. It, uh, it was a very dull gameplay experience. It wasn't a very good uh, competitive experience at all. And then, while it was still a decent game in its own right, you get to Halo 5, which is then stealing things because advanced movement shooters were the trend at the time. It was, it was stealing the enhanced mobility, the the boosting, the the Spartan charging, the hovering. It still seemed very gimmicky and very derivative, but it was still kind of an arena game. There pretty much was an arena game. You go you fast forward to Halo Infinite, which is comes out is the purest gameplay and closest gameplay to classic Halo that I've ever seen. And the gameplay itself was really good, but the reason that it lost a lot of its momentum is because it's people loved the game, but there wasn't any content. And that's actually why I quit playing the game at the end of Season 1, beginning of Season 2, and I didn't really play that much Season 2. Season 2 sucked ass in terms of what it brought to the game and what it like it felt like everything was being dragged out like six month season the jump between season two and season three and then season one to season two it wasn't it, it was just, it was too slow. We all know that it was too slow. But the reason that I'm kind of supporting Halo Infinite now is because of the just the massive content update that the game has and the amount of content that the game has and the amount of content updates that have been given to the game because they fired Bonnie Ross and they fired that old management. I, pl I have played Halo Infinite more than I have played any other 343 Halo game. And I'm being completely serious when I say that. I have played Halo Infinite, I mean, we can can probably go into the stats here like I've played so much so much infinite especially in the past couple of weeks with all the content being announced and all the content being released see if I could find it here how to get into my service records I think I have 1100 games played uh, let's see what we got nah not 1100 close to 1100 but yeah I, I I have been grinding this game and I have now felt a need a need or a urge to grind this game because I like I you can look at my games played there on the left side of the screen I've I've played so much of this recently I've played like maybe 400 matches in like the past year it's so much better and the reason because 343 with this game even at launch nailed the gameplay they just didn't nail the content release cycle they nailed that classic gameplay but evolved I guess if you want to say it like that like it's it's a it, it's a modernized classic gameplay experience 343 hasn't done a modernized classic experience before like you got your sprint that has been nerfed into oblivion I think you go about eight percent faster than your normal walking speed which if you're trying to beat somebody to an objective that does matter but sprint really kind of isn't a determining factor which I like how they tackled the sprint debate in this instance because in Halo 5 you're sprinting fast you're dashing fast you're doing hovers you're then ground pounding into enemies it's all about the movement jetpack mastery it also the aim mastery but the movement is huge in that too you can argue that movement is huge and infinite but i have had 41 and 5 kill games not even doing any of the sprinting movement or any of the sliding it it, it is pristine it is the most pristine game and the most compelling game and the most pure game that 343 has made hence is why 
I support this game now, mainly because of the new management. I did not support it back then when Season 2 was the main season just due to the content release cycle and due to how just boring and dry and drab everything was. It just, it wasn't fun. It, it was... It felt like I was playing oddball and recharge and oddball and straights over and over and over again, which is honestly kind of kind of what I was doing. I was playing the same maps and the same game modes, the same two maps and the same game mode. It feels like oddball was the only thing that would ever come up back in season one and season two. But now I'm playing on in ranked, for instance. I'm playing on Halo Five. Uh, I'm playing all the OG maps. I'm playing on recharge. I'm playing on streets. I'm playing Slayer a lot more. I've noticed and I. I know within the new content update, CU29, there will be Team Slayer added, a uh, permanent Team Slayer playlist, which is something I cannot wait to grind. Like, I have not wanted to grind a Halo game ever since Reach came out uh, 14 years ago, back in 2010. And that's crazy to me. That just kind of shows you how hard uh, 343, the old developers of 343 nailed the gameplay, but they never nailed the content aspect of it, Which and also the lies, the lies about split-string co-op, the lies how you'll be able to grind everything, like everything in the game is grindable, or you you can buy it because it is a free to play game. Um it's it it is so much better. Even the fact that I can't even grind out the armors like like look what we got to the left here. We got you can grind for EXP ranks and then at with season 5 I believe once you hit the end game rank for your career progression, you then unlock the Master Chief Infinite armor, which is a really cool reward to grind for, and that's why I've actually been playing it so much, is because there's there's a carrot at the end of that stick, and that's a cool thing to have. Only Platinum right now, um, I did go up two divisions in the past two days, just because I've been playing so much, and I have been playing a lot of mouse and keyboard. The mouse and keyboard input has just been completely improved beyond, like, beyond speculation. It, it, it is, like, <laughs> the mouse and keyboard experience in this is so much better. And I've actually switched to it and I'm never going to play Halo without mouse and keyboard again because controller just feels so limiting in terms of the way you can flick, the way you can speed. Like, you might think Halo is... <clears throat> excuse me. You might think Halo is all a tracking game, which for the most part it is, but the crazy tricks that you can do on mouse and keyboard because you're so unlocked is, let's say if I'm shooting a guy and I get him to one shot, he tries to jump behind me to do a ninja, I can just flick back and then melee him so he can't do the ninja. If there's three guys in front of me and they're all shooting me at the same time, I can flick down, throw two grenades or even two plasmas if I got those, probably two to three grenades in that survival chance, or in your chance of survival, which is pretty much none, but then you could, I, I've, t I've had instances where I've taken three guys out with me. It's... It, like, it is it, it is the closest to classic Halo and closest to its true-to-form that you're ever going to get in terms of its gameplay, and then now it has all this content to back it up. Like, let's let, let's look. So for custom games, now we have a custom browser. If you want to play Fat Kid, if you want to just practice, if you want to do parkour, you can do that. You can play a Hex game, which is kind of like a Fall Guys ripoff to a certain extent or an inspiration to where it's like you have to do all these different mini games like forge is growing and it's going to grow even more with this content patch unfortunately the campaign is still bugged in terms of of um online co-op as in i've had now two playthroughs i've done one playthrough with someone and now i'm doing a second playthrough from the beginning with somebody and then there's a room where you get to to where i believe you have, you have to activate the control room and then the enemies just do not spawn that sucks dick. I I hate that. All all the time and effort from this new company is going into the multiplayer, which I believe is a right move. They could try to patch the issues with campaign, but I don't for really foresee that happen honestly at this rate cuz the the same bugs and problems that've been in campaign are just they've just continued to be there. Like there's been there since it got released and they haven't got fixed since. I don't really foresee them getting fixed. Very unfortunate. But like look at all this stuff you can do in the game now. Like you can just, you can, firefights in the game. That's cool. If you want to play quick play and just fucking turn your brain off, you can do that. If you want to play Halo 3 or Fueled, which is a little bit more sweaty, where everyone starts with BR secondaries, you can do that. Husky Raid is a really fun one, too, where everyone spawns with random weapons, and then you try to um, flag cap each other through a hallway. 
<coughs> Excuse me, but yeah, the gameplay and now the amount of content in the game is top notch. I think this is really, really good post life service. It's a really good thing that the um, it's good that Bonnie Ross and all the upper management staff got fired because when Bonnie Ross is in charge, this game is getting content updates every run or new management, and we're fine. We're getting content. They're revamping the netcode, so now desync will be a problem. I think I think it's completely fine now. Like I'm not I I I hated Infinite mainly because. It had so much momentum and it had so much potential because people like that core gameplay so much. But then three for three, old the old management squandered it, and the old developers squandered it. They just because they weren't releasing content fast enough. That's all it comes down to. They they just weren't releasing content quick enough. So then people got bored, and then people said fuck this, and then they canceled campaign co-op, and then people said fuck that, like fuck like fuck three four three, and then people started boycotting Infinite because they uh, cut split screen co-op, which I'm. I think is in the game now. I've I've seen posts. I haven't tried it myself, but I can speak edu- uh, in an educated manner on that. But now it's it, it it's good. I'd recommend it. Like it, if you haven't gone or if you haven't played Infinite since season two, I would definitely give it a try. It's it's so much better. It's so much better. It feels more like classic Halo in terms of the content, in terms of Forge, in terms of, like, I was playing, for example, I was playing Fat Kid earlier, where you have to run from the slow zombie. I was playing that earlier, and that was, that, that, that was fun. That was nice. That was, that was a great time. Yeah, closing remarks, um, content update 29, they're not going to content updates, and they're not doing seasons anymore. I think season 5 or season 6, whatever the most recent season was. That is now the last season, and they're just switching to content updates, which everyone in the Halo community is pretty much saying that there's just going to be a new game at this point. Um, which I think that's also the case as well. Because there was leaks about them moving to Unreal Engine and ditching the slip space engine so they can provide more consistent content updates because Unreal Engine is easier to work with. But yeah, I, I, it, it's better. It's I would definitely try Infinite right now if you haven't. Um, or if you haven't in a couple years, in the past two. Like if you just quit it because it was lacking of content and you like the gameplay, but it was a lack. It had nothing there. It had four playlists at launch. Three to four playlists. So not, not a good start, but now it's just you can just do whatever the hell you want. It's... Um, it, it's really good but anyways peace guys signing out i'll be making a halo podcast a little halo podcast thing with a uh, cupcake poppy he will be returning um when the halo infinite tv show comes out because then we're going to do a video on that just to see how good or how crap it is so with further ado see you guys peace